How's it going guys? It's Gatlin here from Carphonics and uh, today I just figured I had a little bit of time this morning so I would make a quick video about the 300 and uh, I think I'm going to title this video everything I've done to the 300 ZX Turbo. Uh, I've had this car for a really long time and uh, I thought that I would go under the car, get it up on the hoist and show everybody everything that I've done to this car since I've owned it. And, uh, I'll kind of just give you guys a brief description of each item that I've replaced or restored back to factory or better and uh, we'll go from there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, lift this baby up in the air. I've already got it on the hoist, nice and shocked here. So I'll get it up in the air and I'll get back at you. Alright guys, so we'll start from the back and kind of work our way up to the front here. And uh, about three or four years ago I uh, decided that I was going to go ahead and restore the underside of this car and uh, redo the suspension on it. Uh, it was getting a little bit old and uh, kind of tired and used so I figured what I would do is I would just kind of clean up the underside of the car, replace all the bushings and uh, believe it or not that's how I got this scar if you guys can see that right there on my forehead. Um, I was taking apart the underside of this car and uh, if you guys look right here these eccentric bolts that are attached to these lower control arms here uh, wouldn't come off for the life of me. So I was hammering away on this side of the uh, bolt. I kind of put the bolt a little bit loose on there and was just hammering away on it. Uh, I actually had the entire subframe out of the car and uh, was sledgehammering away and then long and behold the uh, socket exploded, smoked me in the face and I ended up having to get about six or seven stitches here and knock me out cold right on the concrete floor as we're sitting here. So anyhow um, so I'll go over the suspension here. So I ended up replacing all the shocks uh, with KYB, uh, XL, sport shocks all the way around. Replaced the springs, uh, went to uh, FACA and got all new hardware for all of the uh, nuts and bolts here. And uh, also went to uh, Nissan and uh, replaced every single nut and bolt that they still had in their inventory uh, that they still listed for this car. So I took everything down, uh, sandblasted it and then powder coated everything here. It's a little bit dirty. I should probably spend a little bit of time under here while I've got it up in the air and uh, maybe I can give things a, a little bit of a wash under here and uh, you know clean things up. I'll probably do that later on today. But uh, basically I ended up taking everything down, replacing all of the bushings. So we have our rear sway bar bushings here. Those are all polyurethane. Uh, the Control arm bushings have been done with polyurethane sway bar uh, mounts here, polyurethane. The subframe itself has all been done in polyurethane as well. Uh, replaced all the shocks, springs, bearings, and all of the control arms here. There's an inner and an outer bearing. Uh, had all four of the calipers rebuilt. All new lines for the calipers, flex lines. Um, again, all new bolts. For the uh, eccentric bolts here on the control arms, uh, those are all directly from Nissan. Uh, Replace the subframe bolts as well that uh, bolt up to the uh, rear differential. I replaced the rear differential mount. You guys saw that in the video not too long ago. Uh, one thing I've always kind of wanted to do that was sort of a letdown on this car has been the exhaust. This is a factory exhaust that's still on this thing, believe it or not. It is a little bit crusty after all these years, but uh, you know it still does the trick. So. Um, the cat is there, but it's been gutted. There's nothing in that cat. Uh, I gutted that quite some time ago. Uh, put new gaskets and stuff on there. So it looks like it's factory, right? So if the cops come by and have a look at her, I'm not really too sure what they can do about that. But anyhow, uh, replaced all the uh, emergency brake lines and springs as well, front and rear. Um, obviously all new pads, rotors, all that fun stuff as well. And then uh, I had the wheels refinished by a company here in town called London Wheel Repair. Uh, he machine finished the front fascia, re-cleared them, and then in the factory these little inserts used to be gray and I had them do them in uh, powder coated black. He redid the center caps as well. These little things here, repainted those. That's actually a metal uh, overlay on top of the plastic here. Refinish the insides as well. Everything looks nice and sharp. Moving along to the front here, uh, I redid the front stabilizer bars, redid the bushings there. If you guys can see those, polyurethane bushings there, polyurethane bushings on the um, stabilizer links, and uh, 
um, polyurethane bushings as well as on the stabilizer bar up here had the uh, front calipers rebuilt again sandblasted powder coated redid all of the uh, suspension here put new shocks up front and uh, these are just shock uh, tubes and the the shock actually goes inside the tube and anyhow so all new flex lines here all new clips all that fun stuff having a look at this thing probably need to uh, go over the calipers and probably give them a good paint job at some point in their life um, they are looking a little bit crusty so I'll probably end up uh, looks like we got a little bit of leakage going on up front here on this caliper she's a little bit wet that's kind of interesting to see uh, replaced all the boots and all that stuff as well so I'll probably end up going over the underside of this car at some point and uh, restoring some more stuff and kind of just touching some things up. Repainted all the wheel liners and wheel wells and that kind of thing. Put new tires on at that time three or four years ago. Again, they've only got probably about three or 400 kilometers on them or so. Uh, new stabilizer, sorry, uh, control, not control arm, but uh, inner and outer tie rods. Uh, did all the uh, ball joints, again, all new hardware from Nissan on everything that I could find hardware for from the dealership. Um, it's been well undercoated, as you can see, uh, aside from maybe a small oil leak that was up here at some point in its life. Um, it's been well coated in oil, so there's no rust on the other side of this thing whatsoever. It is, uh, you know, pretty coated in uh, oil here, if you guys can see that, which is probably what's protecting this car. It is a Japanese car. It was made in Canada, not made in Canada, but imported into Canada from Japan in uh, 1986. So, you know, it's faring quite well. Uh, I've replaced this exhaust. This is just a, a muffler that uh, a buddy of mine ended up making a mandrel type bend here for me. Crush bends from the factory, kind of funny, a little bit restrictive, I guess you'd say, right? Um, when I replaced all the stuff back here, um, I also replaced all the nuts and bolts on the uh, drive shafts here and uh, had these all rebuilt as well. Put new boots on them and uh, new, um, what you call them? new uh, knuckles inside yeah all the gas lines brake lines are all original on this car and uh, you know they're in excellent excellent condition just because they've been so heavily coated in oil their entire life um, so there's you know no rust on any of this stuff which is you know again I've never really driven the car I've never driven the car in the winter time so it's never never seen the never seen snow right so Anyhow, uh, I am going to go ahead and probably call the underside of this video done, and uh, yeah. All right, so under the hood of this thing, uh, it looks pretty much stock. Well, that's because it is, but uh, you know, I kept the uh, factory shock towers. When this car originally came from the factory, man, that's dirty. Uh, when it came from the factory, it uh, had uh, some adjustable suspension electronically adjustable suspension. I'll show you that little switch right now. It's in the center console. It doesn't do anything now. There it is right there. That little switch says S, N, F, soft, neutral, and firm. I'm assuming that's what that means, but um, I got rid of those shock uh, shocks because obviously they were blown and uh, the rear end would squat when you'd kind of hammer on the uh, accelerator, would kind of go whoop, you know, whatever, had that kind of thing. And uh, so when I replaced all the suspension, uh, KYB actually has a kit that you can get for this car that uh, has the delete block off plates and all the bearings and all that stuff that uh, sit up top there. So I replaced all that, but I kept the, the towers uh, looking factory. So that way, you know, if someone looks under here, they can, you know, whatever. It looks factory. That's, uh, that's the main key there. Uh, everything else under the hood is fairly stock. There isn't a whole lot to it. Uh, I have replaced the uh, master cylinder at one point, so that's uh, why that's a little bit cleaner. Uh, I did obviously timing belt and all new belts. I had the air conditioning uh, redone with the R34. Um, all this is factory underneath the here, even that powder coating that's on the uh, um, valve covers, all that is factory there. Obviously new spark plugs, cap, wires, all that stuff, that's been redone at some point. I, uh, did a rad flush, so it's got all new rad fluid in it. Um, at one point in its life, uh, there was actually a pretty big recall on these engines in these particular cars. And uh, the 
recall was the uh, injector plugs. Uh, I guess they would get kind of corroded and uh, you'd end up having a mess in the engine. So it would be running and it would just go brum, brum, you know, every once in a while, that type of thing. So I took all the caps off and uh, put all new uh, caps on all the injectors. That was kind of a pain in the butt, but uh, that was done a few years ago. And uh, what else have we done here? When I did the audio system. I just put a new battery in there. I took all the stickers off of it because I didn't want them to know that I got it from CarQuest, but um, just a standard good old battery and she's been good ever since, so that's good. Replaced all these hood shocks. And man, I'm sure there's all sorts of different things that I'm missing here, but I made a custom bracket for the uh, circuit breaker for the audio system. Uh, redid all the power cabling from the uh, starter and uh, the alternator as well. The alternator has been replaced. It's actually a uh, returned alternator. It's got about 180 amps uh, on it, uh, obviously for the audio system that's in the car. Again, all this is factory. Needs good cleaning though, so eventually I'll probably get to that. Would like to redo the top of this thing. I'd actually, my, my ultimate plan would be to put an RB26 twin turbo into this car with a six speed manual. Um, those are kind of elongated dreams, right? Obviously replace the uh, air filter and all that. Uh, this thing originally came with uh, headlight washers, believe it or not, from 1986. So I've replaced the uh, windshield washer, uh, sorry, the headlight washer uh, motor that's under there. A couple of ballasts right there and there over on that side for the HIDs that are in the car. Um, so I think that's pretty much it for under the hood here, guys.